On November 18, 2025, headlines around the world blazed with excitement. China's C929 jet completes historic 12,000-kilometer flight. It was a moment that would be remembered for years to come, as news outlets scrambled to cover the story and social media buzzed with speculation and pride. The world paused in collective astonishment. China had officially entered the elite club of long-haul aviation, a realm once dominated by only a select few nations. In airports and offices, people stopped what they were doing to watch history unfold in real time. For decades, Boeing and Airbus had ruled the skies, their names synonymous with global air travel and technological supremacy. Their aircraft connected continents and shaped economies, setting the standard for what was possible in commercial aviation. Now, a new challenger had arrived on the scene, ready to disrupt the status quo and redefine the future of flight. This wasn't just a routine test flight, it was a bold, unmistakable statement of China's ambition, technical prowess, and determination to compete on the world stage. Engineers and pilots celebrated, knowing they had achieved something once thought impossible. The C-929, a sleek and modern wide-body jet, soared effortlessly from Shanghai all the way to Africa, matching the range and performance of its most advanced Western rivals. Its journey symbolized a bridge between continents and a leap forward for Chinese innovation. The entire flight, broadcast live to millions, became a global spectacle. Crowds gathered in airport lounges and public squares, watching as the jet touched down, marking a new chapter in aviation history. As the C-929 landed, Comac's emblem gleamed in the morning light, a powerful symbol that the era of the aviation duopoly was ending. The world was witnessing the rise of a new contender. Western analysts, who had once been skeptical and dismissive, now faced a new reality. The balance of power in the skies was shifting, and the implications were impossible to ignore. China had mastered one of the world's most complex and demanding industries, demonstrating not just technical skill, but also the ability to innovate and compete at the highest level. The implications stretched far beyond aviation, touching global trade, geopolitics, and the very future of international travel. New flight routes, new partnerships, and new opportunities were now on the horizon. Stock markets trembled as investors recalibrated their expectations. World leaders took notice, understanding that this achievement could reshape alliances and economic strategies. For the public it was a moment of pure awe and inspiration. A new giant of the skies was born before their eyes. Children pointed skyward and families dreamed of new destinations now within reach. The C-929 was no longer just a dream or a promise, it was flying, living proof that a new era in aviation had truly begun. The sky, once the limit, was now just the beginning. For more than half a century Boeing and Airbus have stood as the undisputed titans of commercial aviation, shaping the very way the world travels. Their reign began in the late 20th century and has continued, almost unchallenged, into the modern era. Their advanced jets connected distant continents, shrinking the globe and fueling the rapid pace of globalization. These aircraft became the backbone of international travel, carrying millions of passengers and tons of cargo every day, and setting the gold standard for safety, efficiency, and comfort. Backed by relentless innovation, massive research and development budgets, and strong government support, Boeing and Airbus dominated the lucrative long-haul market. Their influence extended beyond engineering, shaping global supply chains and national economies. Boeing, the original king of the skies, became synonymous with flight itself. Its aircraft, like the legendary 747, symbolized the dawn of the jet age and the promise of global connectivity. Then, in the 1970s, Airbus emerged as a bold challenger, igniting a legendary rivalry that would drive decades of progress and innovation. Their competition pushed both companies to new heights, benefiting travelers and airlines alike. Entering this exclusive club was nearly impossible, requiring not just billions in investment and decades of R&D, but also the trust of airlines and passengers worldwide. The barriers to entry were immense and the risks enormous. Many tried and failed to break the duopoly. Only a handful of regional jets from Russia, Canada, and Brazil managed to carve out modest niches, serving smaller markets, but never threatening the giant's dominance in long-haul travel. For decades, airlines had just two real choices for their fleets, often playing Boeing and Airbus against each other to secure the best deals and latest technology. 
Boeing and Airbus manage production and innovation with confidence, their order books overflowing with orders that stretched years into the future. Their grip on the market seemed unbreakable. The idea of a new long-haul competitor entering the scene seemed remote, almost impossible, a distant dream for any aspiring challenger. The duopoly felt permanent, an unchanging fact of aviation, until now. The arrival of the C929, a new wide-body jet from China, shattered that illusion and sent shockwaves through the industry. The skies were about to change forever, as a new era of competition and innovation dawned in commercial aviation. The C929 is China's bold answer to the long-standing Boeing Airbus duopoly that has dominated the skies for decades. This ambitious project signals China's determination to become a major player in the global aviation industry, breaking into a market that has been tightly held by Western manufacturers. Developed by Comac, the C929 is a state-of-the-art, wide-body, twin-engine jet designed specifically for long-haul international routes. It represents years of research, development, and collaboration, bringing together the best of Chinese engineering and innovation. With a spacious cabin that can accommodate up to 320 passengers, the C929 is targeting the very heart of the global market aiming to serve both business and leisure travelers with comfort and efficiency. This aircraft marks a significant leap forward for China, moving from producing regional jets to achieving world-class manufacturing standards. The C929 is a testament to the country's growing expertise in aerospace technology. Backed by strong government support, the C929 is more than just a new plane. It stands as a powerful symbol of national ambition and pride, representing China's vision for the future. The project has fostered new expertise in advanced composite materials, cutting-edge avionics, and complex systems integration, helping to elevate China's entire aerospace sector. Featuring a next-generation composite airframe and a modern, fully digital flight deck, the C929 is built to meet and even exceed top international safety and performance standards. For China, the C929 is a crucial step towards self-sufficiency in aviation, aiming not only to capture its vast and rapidly growing domestic market, but also to expand its reach to airlines and passengers around the world. By entering the wide-body jet market, the C929 directly challenges the revenue streams and market dominance of established Western giants, introducing new competition and choices for airlines globally. As the flagship project of the Made in China 2025 initiative, the C929 showcases the nation's industrial might, advanced manufacturing capabilities, and commitment to technological leadership. The C929 is more than just an aircraft, it's a flying ambassador for a new era of Chinese innovation, forging connections and building bridges across continents. With its grand arrival, the C929 is poised and ready to reshape the global aviation landscape, ushering in a future where China stands shoulder to shoulder with the world's leading aerospace powers. The 12,000-kilometer journey was a defining test. This range connects major cities worldwide, Beijing to London, Shanghai to LA, without refueling. The C929 proved it could compete on the world's most prestigious routes. The flight validated its core technologies, from composite materials to advanced avionics. Passing this test, silenced skeptics and demonstrated engineering maturity. The achievement has geopolitical weight. China can now offer the C929 in global trade deals. Developing nations may see it as an affordable alternative to Western jets. For China, it was a moment of national triumph, watched by millions. The flight was more than a technical feat, it was a symbol of a nation's rise. China's path to the C-929 was long and challenging. Early on the nation relied on Soviet aircraft, learning through imitation and reverse engineering. The Shanghai Y-10 in the 1970s was China's first big attempt, but it failed due to technical and industrial limitations. This setback taught China the value of building a strong industrial base. The strategy shifted. China became a key supplier for Boeing and Airbus, gaining vital experience. This apprenticeship laid the groundwork for future projects. The c 929s success is built on decades of learning, failure, and partnership. China mastered not just assembly, but systems integration and certification. The journey from importer to designer was a generational marathon. The C929 is the culmination of unwavering national will, 
The C929's roots trace back to key stepping stones, the Y10 was the ambitious dream, its failure taught hard lessons, the ARJ-21 regional jet, launched in the 2000s, was a practical project that taught COMAC about certification and global supply chains, the C919, a narrow-body jet, pushed China's aerospace capabilities further, competing with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. Its successful entry into service proved COMAC's ability to deliver modern, safe aircraft. Each project built on the last, providing vital experience. The C919 was the final dress rehearsal for the C929. Together, these programs formed the foundation for China's leap into long-haul aviation. The C929 began as a joint venture with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation. Russia brought design expertise, China brought resources and a vast market. Disagreements over control, suppliers and marketing soon emerged. Geopolitical tensions and sanctions complicated the partnership. China ultimately took full control, rebranding the project as the COMAC C929. This shift allowed COMAC to accelerate development and focus on domestic supply chains. The move was risky but streamlined progress. COMAC began developing its own engines, aiming for technological independence. The C929 solo journey reflects China's growing confidence and ambition. The C929's landing sparked celebration in China and concern abroad. State media and citizens hailed it as a national triumph. Social media buzzed with pride and excitement. For COMAX engineers, it was validation of years of effort. Internationally, experts acknowledged the technical achievement. The flight proved COMAX's real capability, breaking the entry barrier. In Boeing and Airbus boardrooms the mood was tense, their duopoly was under threat. The C929's success forces a strategic rethink for Western giants. Governments in the US and Europe saw the jet as a tool of Chinese influence. An independent Chinese aviation industry shifts global power dynamics. The C929's flight was a wake-up call for the world. The balance of aviation and geopolitics had changed. The C929's success marks a new era. Aviation is now tripolar. Airlines gain a third choice, promising lower prices and more innovation. The C929 will first appear on Chinese routes, then expand globally as certifications are secured. Passengers will see more non-stop options and, eventually, lower fares. COMAC faces hurdles international certification, scaling production and building global support networks. The C929 is just the beginning. China will push for even greater aerospace achievements. The technological race will accelerate, driving advances in efficiency and sustainability. The world of flight is transforming. The C929 is a catalyst for change, redrawing the aviation map. The future of flight will be shaped in three capitals, not two.